Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, Black Cat Crypto Club. We have had an amazing weekend, let alone the last uh, five, six, six days or so. Um, but guys, I I've come to realize that you know, ever since the ETFs launched, uh, just after this last weekend, I really kind of live for weekend rallies. Um, you know, let's uh. Let's leave those Wall Street traders behind, let them FOMO in, and uh, let's make some massive gains on the weekend. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I love it. Um, but there's not much not to be happy about after this weekend. We've just continually just shot up over the weekend, setting new highs every single day, uh, just all day, every day. And man, what a weekend. But there is some things, guys, that you really need to be aware of um, because there are some things that will happen uh, almost guaranteed. And you guys need to be prepared for that. So I'm going to share that, that with you guys. Um, just really important. I've probably stressed this. I've probably said it in the last few videos or so. But you guys really need to, to be aware of this and kind of prepare yourself for these kind of things. So stick around. I'm going to kind of share that with you guys in the charts towards the end of the video. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to jump over here and uh, just give a shout out to these guys. This is Rory Pond Rescue Ranch, guys. These guys, I've been spotlighting these guys uh, this entire month as the animal sanctuary that I'm really trying to kind of shine a light on. Um, so guys, if you, if you can, you know, with, with all the gains that you guys are getting, I know you're going to have to have some, uh, you know, you're going to have some tax implications for sure. If you're going to be cashing out. So, um, one way to help out with that is doing something, donating to a, a nonprofit organization like Rory Pond Rescue Ranch, uh, helping out these animals. Plus it buys you guys some good karma. So go over, help these needy animals out. Um, I do leave the link to their page in all of my descriptions this month. Um, so you can go over to their homepage. There's plenty of information on who they are, you know, what, who their animals are, uh, what their mission statement are is and everything. Uh, so just go over, check them out. You can go over in the upper right hand corner. There's a more tab that drops down and you can go to shop to support our animals. And that's what this page is. Um, you can go over, check out their Amazon, send them something off their wish list to take care of their animals off of Amazon. You can also buy some of their merch from uh, Bonfire and Printify, which the money spent there goes to help these guys take care of these animals. Or you can, um, just uh, scroll down and you can donate by, by PayPal or on Venmo. So head over, help these guys out, guys. It also helps you guys when it comes to taxes after massive gains uh, in crypto. So go check them out. Help them out if you can. Very much appreciated. Okay, so uh, just saw this article this morning when I woke up. Bitcoin surge triggers billions in losses for crypto short traders. And I think we should celebrate that. Uh, I've said time and time again, you don't, even if you think the, the crypto market is going to go down, you do not want to get on the train tracks in front of the moving train that is Bitcoin. Uh, and they, you know, they laid on it for the last six or eight months and they just got absolutely destroyed, you know, the last six days. So, um, and I have been saying, you know, ever since I think it was back in April, guys, I have been kind of showing you guys this. But once we set that all time high clear back here in March, we started getting a lot of shorts right here above this. And it just built up and built up and built up. But I, I think I was back here in in like April, I believe, right back here or so, saying, you know, there is a short squeeze that is forming. 
you know, once we bust through that area, we could, it could very easily propel us into the eighties, which is exactly what we've done so far. Um, I do expect that to continue, but I, I am going to show you guys some levels as I have been in the last few videos, but you know, we, we did come through here and smash through this, this heavy, heavy wall of shorts. And we've just, it's just been rocket fuel guys. So, um, congratulations shorters on, uh, shorting the best technology we have seen in quite a while. And hopefully you've learned a lesson. <laughs> I have no sympathy for short sellers, guys. I, I don't even believe it. it, you know, outside of Bitcoin. I think it's just a dirty way to trade things. So anyways, guys, I do want to jump over to the charts and show you guys those, those things I've been talking about. If you guys haven't, please, you know, subscribe, like this video helps me out. Um, but let's do <laughs> Sorry, throwing that in really quick. I just saw that tab. Um, but yeah, let's jump over to the trade view. Okay, so as you can see, guys, we were right back. My last video, I think we were right in, in here uh, somewhere, you know, and I had, I'd said, you know, we've broken through this, this upward um, line that kind of goes back in the charts to about August. Um, and man, we did, we just traded right along that line for a while. And we did turn that into a pretty good support line, I, I believe. Uh, but I was saying, you know, even if we traded right along that, it's an upward sloping line by the end of the year, it was somewhere around 80 or 90,000 where it ended, which would be, would, I mean, nobody would complain about that, but I did say that I, I thought we would bounce off that at some point, and that's exactly what we did uh, yesterday, actually. Just pumped off that and have just, like, continued. Um, actually, I think that was Saturday night. Uh, we pumped off that, and we've just, Saturday, Sunday, we've just been setting all-time highs all the way up even today and this morning. So um, good, good things. We are pumping everybody's, you know, euphoric. Uh, we are getting into the extreme greed on the, uh, the Bitcoin um, sentiment or uh, fear and greed index. But as if if you've been in a cycle or two, you you know we can stay in extreme greed for quite a while. But there are some things, guys. I want to jump out to the daily and just show you guys kind of what to expect. So let's let's do that uh, right here. And now let's zoom clear out, guys. We're gonna go clear out to the last bull run, guys. This doesn't even fit. But you can see now last bull run, um, like we are basically right, right in here it, during the current bull run. We've still got, you know, clear till probably third or fourth quarter next year before we traditionally top the four year cycle. But what I really want to show you guys is when you when you look at this chart, it looks like where we're at right now, we just have a massive amount of just straight up going on right here. Uh, but that's not that's not really the case. When you're looking at, at your your portfolio balance every single day, guys, that is not the case. And I'm going to show you guys a few examples. Um, we're going to zoom in. Let's just zoom in on this little guy. Uh, that's not the zoom. Here we go. So right here, we came up. This dip was about 17 or 18 percent right there. And these these are daily candles, guys. So. Um, when when you see um like an, a new all-time high 
and over two or three days, you're coming down 18%. That's going to, that's going to throw a spoke in your wheel of euphoria guys. So don't just know that you've got to expect this. Um, we, we, you know, bounced off that made a V recovery, but then we trended down for like two weeks right here. Um, until we just absolutely blasted off again. And then, um, you know, this one, this nice little dip after that euphoric blast off lasted two, three, four days, maybe. Um, but that was a 10% dip right there. And these, you know, when you, when you zoom out guys and see the whole picture, those little bumps right in here, they seem like nothing, right? Like this looks pretty straight up, but when you're, when you're living this day to day and you're dropping 18, 10, this one up here was a 30% correction. This one uh, was kind of an anomaly, guys. This right here was after uh, China banned Bitcoin mining in China. And so that took a 50% a toll mid, mid bull run, guys. And then we came back and set that all time high right here. Um, but guys, the point is, is yes, we we're euphoric right now. Um, but don't, you know, the first sign here, here's the thing guys yesterday. Um, I think we, we went up to like 82,000 and about midday here, we had come back down to like 79, eight or 79, nine or something. And I was Already during just that short period yesterday, I was already seeing people on social media saying, well, the bull, bull runs over. <laughs> don't don't let your emotions get the best of you guys. Um, you know, there are going to be days, there's going to be weeks where you're like. Your euphoria is completely gone. We're still looking super good from a few months before that, but there will be dips and uh just know that because if if you if you trade on your emotions during those times you're just going to get left out for the from the for the rest of this upward parabolic trend um so have a plan guys i i can't stress that enough i i know i harp on it all the time in my videos but i don't want you guys to get carried away with with day-to-day -day emotions um and if you know look guys we here here was the big boring part of the cycle last cycle so we are just getting out of this this sideways action that happens right around the having and after the having um so we're just i mean look at this chart guys let's I can't really zoom out to show you guys all of that. Maybe if I go, uh, let's go to the weekly just so I can show you guys. So here's that boring part, right? And we look, we have just been doing that exactly. You know, the ETFs happened and we did come up during this portion of the, of the cycle, which is unusual guys and a lot of people thought that's why we were topping out right back here um but really we just opened up a second market the you know wall street the biggest economic market to bitcoin and obviously that took us up a step but other than that we have been trading just exactly like we always do during the bitcoin four year cycle so we get out of this uh boring boring time right here and that's when this parabolic banana zone gets going guys and look you can hardly say that we're anywhere close to doing that yet uh we're starting we're starting to break out right here but we've got a long ways to go guys so the point is guys don't you know if we have a bad day or a bad week where we come down 30 percent you know there have been during each cycle, there are several 30%, 20, 30% um, 
retracements during these times when we're going up. So when that happens, just be ready for it. Know that it happens. Know that it's normal. Know that we aren't going to zero, uh, you know, and have a plan. You know, I can't tell you what your plan should be, um, it, but have a plan. Have a time-based plan. Uh, my, my plan, personally, is uh, pretty time-based. I, I think third or fourth quarter next year is traditionally, you know, when you average out all of these cycles. And it, it is fairly cyclical, guys. It's like a four, it is a four-year cycle. And then we, you know, we type top out that cycle and we have a year of down, you know, four years, we top out that cycle and we have a year of down. So that's uh, kind of my plan. Um, but whether your plan is, is time-based or if you have a price target in mind uh, that you're going to hold until it hits this certain price, you know, know that, you know, that's fine. It might not have happened this cycle, depending on what your price price is. Um, just have that plan, guys. Don't trade on your emotions because there are this is a volatile, volatile market, and it will make your stomach turn. Uh, so if you if you trading on that, it's you're you're gonna mess up, guys. So just have that plan. Know that we're gonna have some volatility at some point it's not all uh smiles and sunshine and just straight up and to the left even though you know big picture the next year next next nine months or so should be pretty pretty nice but it isn't every day all day up so um and that you know those social media posts that i saw yesterday claiming that the bull market was over uh, really exemplified that, really showed how emotional people are in this market. So anyways, guys, I've harped on that enough. Um, there was uh, one more thing I was going to show you guys. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to the daily. I do want to pull uh, Fibonacci levels again and just kind of show you guys a few levels. Um, to kind of expect maybe some resistance. Maybe this will be, these will be the levels that we do see some uh, possible consolidation or retracements a bit. So um, we're gonna pull uh, Fibonacci from last cycle's high. Um, let's see. Where is my Fib? Here we go. Okay, so we went from here, just extend it all the way out here, but we did hit right about there. Okay, so with those set, let's kind of zoom in on where we're at now. Oh, did I just move that? Sorry, guys, bear with me. Okay. So this is the uh, 1.618 uh, line right here, which is right at that 103. Um, so that's our really our next next level on the uh, on the Fibonacci long term from last cycle. Um, we should we should be hitting you know 103 is our next target, considering that, and then. Uh, the, the 2.6 or 2.16 or whatever, um, 2.618, excuse me, is clear up uh, right about 156, guys. So long term, we are, like I said, you know, we've just started. So um, have that in mind. Now, I do want to uh, pull Fibonacci also like I did in our, in our last video uh from this this last um basically year high that we set early on after the etfs so let's get that old okay Did 
out there, down to there. Okay. So, so the 1.618 right here is targeting right at about 89,000, almost exactly, which is actually really interesting because that's the target that the 5.3 theory uh, says is going to be our all-time high forever on Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, there is some convincing evidence for the 5.3 theory. However, it's just not sustainable. And I think it's, it's complete junk because of that. Um, you know, there is, so the 5.3 theory, it's, it's basically a, a measurement of tops and bottoms after the bear market. And it's like 5.3, you know, measurement after that. Um, to set these next levels. But the thing with that theory is, is that at, after this cycle, according to that theory, we will never hit past 89,000 ever again. We'll never set another all time high for Bitcoin. And I, I don't know what world that would ever be the case guys. So I just don't see any validity to it, but there is, it is a pretty strong theory, uh, historically speaking, guys. It's been very accurate in the past. So I do expect that, you know, not only that, but now we're seeing that line right at that, um, right at that 1.68 on the Fibonacci from um, that top from the ETF. So I, I really would expect 89 to be some sort of resistance. I hope it's not. I hope we just blast through and and make fools of the 5.3 uh, theories, <laughs> theorists, I guess. Uh, but I I would imagine that we will see uh, some kind of action right there, guys. So, um, anyways, that's about all I have in the charts for you guys. But just remember, guys, we um, you know we will see down days, guys. That's the most important part to keep in mind. Um, you know, there are these really euphoric times like the, over this weekend and what we're experiencing right now. But at, at some point we will consolidate and we will dip back down a bit. And it those days you'll be so used to the euphoria and the, uh, the, the dopamine that you're getting from all of this. And once we do start, you know, not setting new all time highs every single day, um, it'll it'll throw your emotions for a, a loop for sure. So just know that that's going to happen sometime, even though we are going to go very much higher. So just know what to expect, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for, you know, lending me your ear. Um, I know, you know, your time's precious and I really appreciate you guys watching. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.